Billy, 3-1 defeat here against the league leaders. What did you make of that? thought we started off a little bit nervy. Um, but then by the first half an hour, we had the two best chances. Um, another day we've... And, and, and on other days, we, we've scored them. Um, we didn't. We hung on in there. Um, and yeah, it was... Uh, the game changed on the sending off. Yeah, um, in terms of the first half, obviously, we had a couple of chances. Or was it be a case of if we took them, it could have been a completely different game? Well, yeah, it would have been. Um, yeah, it, it, it would have been. Uh, but Chesterfield are a good team. You've seen the champions today. And they move you about. Uh, you know, when we played with 10 men against Newport, we knew what to expect. The ball was going to be coming down. They just played the ball. But these are moving you about all over the pitch. So we had to sell by the seat of his pants again. Uh, and, and we did do. And... You know, we got to 80 minutes, just before 80 minutes, and I've got the conundrum. What do I do? Do I, uh, do I keep us tight, as, as, as we had done, uh, and claim a potential 1-0 loss as a, as a moral defeat? Or do I have a go and put two men up front? And, you know, you've seen as soon as I put two men up front, I've, I've uh, opened up the midfield and they've picked us off twice. Um, so, yeah, I'll take the blame. I thought the lads were great today. I thought they worked hard. I thought they were back to something like they were in terms of the intensity, in, in terms of the work rate, in terms of the commitment. Um, but I'll take the last 10 minutes, I'll take the blame. It, it was... Uh, by me opening up, trying to go and get an equaliser, we've ended up uh, we've ended up uh, conceding two more. Yeah, you mentioned the sending off. Um, in terms of that incident and a couple of other incidents that, in my opinion, were questionable, to say the least. Do you have any thoughts on the incident? Um, it wasn't just that incident. It's sometimes you're you're forced to play football with one arm tied behind your back and. There were periods of time today where we were having to play football with one arm tied behind his back. What was a free kick one way wasn't a free kick another way. It happens every week to McCallum. Uh, defenders are pushing him in the back, they're pushing him. The midfield man's backing into him. Um, but the first time, it's not Will Grigg's fault by the way, but the first time Will Grigg fell over on the floor because Aaron Martin was behind him, he gets a free kick. We've not had one in four or five. But it's not just instances like that. It's... You know, we we were playing football with one arm tied behind his back before the sending off. Um, but I, uh, I, I some days, some guys and, and games I go to watch. I, I actually, I'm actually bemused at time at what some of these people are are doing, even doing being a referee. Um, but hey, it is what it is. Yeah, um, I know it's not the best circumstances for them to have played in in terms of it was a difficult way to start, um, but we saw three new faces today. Um, do, you, do you sort of want to touch on them and just sort of them being brought into the club and, and today's performance? Yeah, I thought, um, I thought David, David Lodge King has done very, very well. He's, he's only had two training sessions with us, done really, really well. Asked him to do a few things that he's not had to probably do at other clubs, but I thought he did well. Um, He's quick, he can get tight, um, and he defends well. Um, ben Greenwood, I think he's... I thought he had a steady, steady debut. I thought he did really, really well. Um, and, and Ben Reeves, everybody knows, should know about Ben Reeves in this area um, from his past at Southampton. So I think you, you've seen uh, all three of them. There's qualities that they can bring to the, uh, to the squad. Perfect. Cheers, Ellie. Thank you.